Hey, Twink, you know that sneaky parasol I got in that quiz show? I can change into someone else when I use it, right? So, so don't you think I can use it to get out of here? Yeah, I bet you can. Why don't you try it out? Press B while facing whoever it is you might transform to. Anyway, so what's going on, guys? Welcome back to some more Paper Mario. In the last part, we beat Hop and Pop and finished Chapter 6. Thank God we finished Chapter 6. I already established in the last two parts, it's my least favorite chapter in the whole game. This part, we're gonna see, we're gonna do the Peach Interlude. Just a fair warning, though. This is the last of the Peach Interludes, so like, any badges that you have, or the Jam and Jelly you got in Chapter 5, you wanna put that in the, uh, you wanna put that in the chest, you better put that in now because you're not gonna, you're not gonna get another chance. And like, if you make it to the end of the game and like, say these badges are still in Peach's inventory, you fucked up 100% and have to do the whole game over, which is really not very good in my opinion. But anyway, if we use the Sneaky Parasol, we can change to the Koopa Troll. Interestingly enough, like, uh, if we just talk to this guy right here, oh, Patrol Vigor, you can pass through. We can just go into our own room as the Koopa Troll. Very interesting, but, um, it's a very interesting quirk. However, uh, if you press B, we go back to Princess Peach. However, I want to put the jam and jelly we got in Chapter 5 in the, uh, in the chest so we can claim that later as Mario. Um, just make sure you do everything you can right here because you're not going to get another chance. This is the last of the Peach interludes. But what we actually have to do is, uh... See, the front door to the castle has a lock in it. So we actually have to talk to uh, this guy right here. I'm sure we're going to press it. We have to kind of go upwards. This is the very last of the Peach interludes. We've been a long way. Like, we only have two chapters left. And this is actually no joke. I'm going to try to record the rest of this game in one sitting. But, uh, where's my real phone? My shift is over eight. You can go find that slacker and give him up here. Please, I'm exhausted. He looks like this. He's probably goofing off inside the castle somewhere here. Take this to find him. And we get the castle key. Key to the entrance to the castle. You won't be able to get downstairs without it. Anyway, so we're going to find this individual. So, um, just be very careful about transforming back into Peach because if you press B and transform back into Peach while you're in a guard, while you're near, well, area that's guarded, uh, as soon as you leave, you'll get caught. So, um, yeah, nobody will catch you when you're in disguise, so, uh, yeah, the, uh, the sneaky parasol is definitely a, a unique item. This is the, the one area we haven't explored yet. We're out of, Pe we're actually out of Peach's castle now. We're gonna just go, um, let's see what talking to Princess Peach. Uh, Princess Peach, someone around here close by? Uh. Now, if we try to go to Bowser's castle, it seems to be locked. You can't open it, so we can't go any further than here. But, um, the guard said we need the clubba. So, if we transform into the clubba, go back up to the guard. Remember, this is the last piece in our loot. So, like, any badges that you claimed, any gem and jellies, this is your only, ch your last chance. So, um, yeah, I want to make sure I put the gem and jelly in there. If you didn't get any of the badges as Peach, you can go back and reclaim them as Mario in Chapter 8. But, um, yeah, just be very careful when you're holding these badges as Peach. Anyway, so if he says... Ah, finally, about time. You're so late again. Don't you know how to read the shift schedule? Well, I guess I'd let go this time, but watch, okay? Okay, have a good shift. I'm shoving off. And don't goof off either. You're on thin ice, buddy. Anyway, so now we can go to the upper part of Peach's Castle where they're apparently planning a uh, big thing for uh, Mario and his entrance. There's where we fought Bowser at the beginning of the game and the window still cracked. This chapter always, this interlude always kind of made of a memory lane from when I start a playthrough because like, um, it really just shows that you've come a long way since the prologue. Anyway, so if we go here, Gammy Koopa. Okay, okay, everything's finally ready. Even if Mario shows up with all the Star Spirits, it'll still be all right. It pays to expect the worst. Absolutely affirmative. You're right, Gammy Koopa. I like this part right here. Hmm, you're there. Doing a fine job. Keep up the good. Wait, something's weird about you. You smell too nice. 
Ah, look at this. Uh oh. Oh, why you little princess peach? Unbelievable, out again. Guards, all you, catch this little runaway and take her back to her room. No. What a pleasure meeting you. My name is Clevar. Thank you for saving me. Huff Puff, Huff and Puff is gone, so the flowers and flower fields can live peacefully once more. I feel that if you hadn't come, flower fields had never been seen light again. Now there's only one of us, the Star Spirit Steel Trap. Just one more, Mario. Here, please use my power to continue your fight. Mario Star Energy goes up to six. Mario can now use timeout and new Star Spirit power. What? With timeout, you can stop time and stop by enemies in their tracks. Now you are able to use the power of six star spirits. If you use mine, well, it should be able to be extremely helpful in battle. You don't become overconfident, though. You must use other power as well. None of the even stronger enemies await you. I hope our power will help you. That so you may help us. We're all depending on you. Go back to Star Haven now. I can't wait to get uh, get there. I've been terribly worried about everyone. Congrats, Mario Moore. You saved the Star Spirit. Because of your effort, Fluffyfield is beautiful again. Thank you, Mario. It's worth the difference for me and my new stature. Please come again, and we'll be looking forward to it. Now we can go back to Town. Now, believe it or not, there's not that many side quests we can really do that are left because of a bottle of Ralph's badges. We have a really good amount of the taste tea recipes. Like, um, we have a good majority of them we can possibly get at this point in the game. So, um. I guess we can kind of like show, view our stats like uh, with like um, I guess we can kind of view our stats like where we are so far with uh, with completion purposes. We can kind of go to Mario's house. Look, there's Luigi really high up. But, um, yeah, if we go over here. I guess we can read Luigi's diary. I'm done well, but um, we have a good majority of the badges, a good majority of the star pieces, and a good majority of the tasty recipes. And also a good majority of the Shaquizmo quizzes. So we are very good. A lot of these tasty recipes we cannot possibly get yet. So um, we don't have the ingredients. So if we go here, um, go to page five. I heard that my brother went to a lava lava island on a tuna. Unbelievable. So I'm going to ride on a tuna too. Page six. I heard that some Yoshi kids on lava lava got lost. My brother saved them. I bet Yoshi kids are about the cutest thing around. I bet I'm pretty jealous of my brother. I heard a rumor that I accidentally have lots of fans. Wow, what a great news to live up in the dark and want to live in the adventure. Of course, my real name went, of course, my name wouldn't have been in the title. That'd be sweet. But yeah, I know it'll never happen. I heard that a door opened in Toad Town, say at least a flower fields. I guess a lot of flowers serve me in the flowery place. Flower spirits, I bet their souls are beautiful and their prettiest flowers. And we check Mario's inbox. Letters. We have one from the Colorado, one from the Yoshi kids. How you doing, old bean? Smash and I trust it. I just thought you say home oh, with a nasty volcano business. Girl, I'll wear my home for the world and final faces. I'm only worried about my dear wife. How much worry about me and my great danger? How does that return home for a while? For your not fight for a pot of tea. Yoshi kids. Dear Mario, the volcano stopped erupting. Please come back and visit. He doesn't wants to see you too. Everyone does. And we want to play with you. I would, I play with, we bet you've been all kinds of wild adventures. I remember bringing your stories to Yoshi kids. Anyway, so even with like, and even with like super block, we only have two party members left to ultra rank. So um, there's only really one side quest we can do. Um, there's only a couple of side quests we can do. We can do Koopa Coop favors, and we can pay Merlo a visit because I said we were gonna do it after chapter six, and for good reasoning because I want to get one tasty recipe because now we have the ingredients. This is why I recommended putting that jam and jelly from chapter five in the. Chess is Princess Peach. So, um. Oh, I, I didn't know there was. I forgot. I forgot. I totally forgot a whole star piece. Um, I forgot there was. I forgot that was there. So let me just double check. Did I get all of them? Did I get the one here? I didn't get that one either. I know there was one over here, but, uh. Yeah, so we have 43 star pieces. We can buy a couple of the badges that are left from, uh, Merlo. So, um. We have a good majority of the star pieces. So, um. No one. We're, we're just gonna claim the gem and jelly. 
We're gonna go to we're gonna go to Merlo to see if we can uh, get any more badges. So we're gonna buy um fly buy money money. That's uh more coins for battle and uh, let's buy fly heart let's buy heart flower. Finder and flower finder. And that way, we we'll only have like two more badges left. So, um, come thinking, there's only there's only 40 star pieces left we can get in the game, and like a good 20 of them are Chuck Quizmo quizzes. So we're in a good position so far. 21 of them are Chuck Quizmo quizzes. So yeah, we're in a and plus Koopa Koos. So yeah, we still have a little bit left in terms of completion, but um. We're in a damn good position. Plus, we are. I think we're only like ten badges left, and a lot of them are in Chapter Seven. Yeah, the other. I, think, I guess the other side quest we can really do is the. We can do the very last of the Koopa Koop babies. But first, I want to pay the post office a visit because I haven't in a while. One for Cooper from Cooper's fan. Dear Mr. Cooper, I must apologize for the letter out of the blue, but I had to. I was trying to walk and turn on more. It seems so strong and brave, so the dash is. So it's okay, I really love to have a talk with you. How embarrassing. Right to you again soon. Good luck, brave Cooper, your fan. Alright. We got one for uh we got more for Susie. For Samishi for Sashimi from Susie's daughter. Dear mom, first I heard you were lost in the jungle, then I heard you were traveling with Mario. Don't do anything dangerous. Come back and put the camera I'm waiting for you. You're gonna be a grand chief. I wanted you to be, I wanted you to see the small fry. Your daughter's hash me. Okay, so Lackalester. He's got one from Lackalulu. Dear Lackalester, where are you? You better be a good lack and return soon. I'll be faithfully waiting for you near the wise Wisterwood. If you don't come back, I'll search for you to the end and give you such a spine storm. You'll I'm sorry, love, I'll get mad when I worry you lack to. I think that's really the lot. That's really like, um, we're really almost done with this game, but, uh, but first of all, we have to pay Merlon a visit because I just remembered this. Oh, it's you. You came at such a good time. There's a guest waiting for you. Nice to meet you. I come from Starborn Valley. Starborn Valley is in the Shiver region. Chill place far to the north, the very end of the earth. Merley, who handles this from there, said that he has something important to tell you. Go. Merley of Starborn Valley is my son, Mario. It seems he's calling for you. If he's searching for you, we need to start something important out of the foot. Let's go to Starborn Valley. Do not delay. Yes, please hurry. I will run ahead and take take tidings of you to Merley. I think somewhere deep below the Toad Town is a pipe tank. Hey, Starborn Valley is quite near to say, Mario, please hurry and meet my son. Now we're going to go, um... Actually, um... I'm going to take a cake mix out of the, uh, shop because... We said we were going to get that uh, jam and jelly, use that jam and jelly for a taste tea recipe, but um, now we're gonna get that. Uh, this is, I think, one of the last two cake mixes. We get. I have two cake mixes, right? I have two cake mixes. Yeah, we're gonna need we're gonna need both of them. But um, the jam and jelly recipe is gonna be the last. We're gonna use the. Uh, we're gonna need the. Uh, the second to last. We're gonna need the uh, cake mix for. And first of all, we're going to use the cake mix and the jam and jelly. We get the jelly pop, which heals 64 FP. So, um, yeah, so I guess we can start going towards the Koopa Koop. I guess we can, the last thing we can do in this part is the... I guess we can do the remaining Koopa. There's only three of them, so I guess we can just tackle them right off the bat. But first of all, we're gonna go Chuck Quizmo hunting because it wouldn't be a send off to the Koopa Koop favors if we didn't go hunting for uh, Chuck Quizmo. And there he is! Or what are the address to your companions in the post office? Letters. Now we have uh, 20 Chuck Quizmo quizzes yet. Yeah. Left and uh, actually 22. So, um, any ones we don't, any ones we miss in this part, I'll just get before I'll just hunt down before chapter eight. But, um, we're actually just gonna go to Koopa Coot. Oh, there he is twice in a row. We're 
for the following is not a billion toe town mayor's house because uh the mayor is actually at chapter seven believe it or not Anyway, so now we're gonna go to Koopa Koop. And, uh. There's a boo who lives in Gusty Gulch. You know, we're gonna package for him. So, um, yeah, we have to go and get, go to Gusty Gulch. But, uh, it gives me a perfect opportunity to A, hunt for Chuck Wismo, and B, I have to get a, uh. Alright, well, we're gonna hunt for Chuck Wismo. It also gives me an opportunity to, uh, the, uh, get a, uh, get a, uh, I forget. I was thinking about it. Strange leaf because, uh, well, let's just say we need one of those for uh, a later recipe. Is Chuck Wismo not going to show up? Come on, Chuck Wismo. Come out wherever you are. There he is. See, sometimes you're going to have patience with Chuck Wismo because he only shows up when he feels like it. What? But I'm looking to kill I dropped cooking. I guess I'll just cut till I'm at Gusty Gulch, so I'll see you guys in a second. Anyway, now at Gusty Gulch. Oh, hello, you're running an air for old Koopa Koot, are you? Oh, now where I? I wasn't really ready for this, but I didn't, where did I leave that thing? I better go look for it. Do you just wait for a second? I should find it soon enough, so I didn't take all the time wandering around here. We leave the screen, come back, and have it ready. Thank you for waiting. I finally found it. I can't believe it took me so long to track it down. Anyway, please give me regards to Cooper Cooper. Okay, take care. We got the package. So I'll see you guys in Cooper Village. Anyway, now back at, now back at uh, Cooper Cooper. We just have to deliver the package to him. And, uh, deliver the package. Live, live it, love, and us. Thank you for your rule, Mario. Anyway, he's gonna give us a coin. And the next favor is... Coconut. I guess we can actually kind of have an excuse to advance in the uh, story, but, um... There's actually a really quicker way to get to, uh... Get to, uh... Lava Lava Island. It is involves fighting a boss, so, um... I just have to do a badge checkup really quick. Uh, Super Jump Charge, uh... Yeah, these look like good badges. Blooper! This is the super blooper. This is the hardest blooper in the game. Like, he will charge, he will have a strong attack, and he will charge and uh, will do multiple damage. He'll also put out like multiple bloopers, so um. Gonna do our jump charge. I'm actually gonna switch from sushi to paracarry, because I find him more useful this fight, but um. Yeah, he does four damage even while we're timing it. So, uh, I'm just gonna do a super jump charge, then power bounce of death. That's kind of our method, really quick. And, uh, we're going to super jump charge in. Now we're gonna use air raid to take out those little bloopers, because they'll suck your HP. I almost failed that. But they have 6 HP. Anyway, so uh, we're gonna power bounce this thing. I just took that thing out. We're already almost a level. We're almost a level up. I just took that out in one power bounce, but um. Yeah, so now we're actually gonna get to the lava lava. Now we're gonna now we can just get to lava lava out of this pipe. And interestingly enough, now we can actually get some tasty recipes out of this because uh, because fortunately, um, well, first of all, I'm gonna heal, but um, that's not exactly the message. But uh, yeah, this might be a long video because I might just get all the way to chapter seven in this one part. But um. Yeah, let's just say fortunately, um, if we give him any tasty things, we'll give him the jelly shrum. And we get the melon. We're gonna need two melons, so, um, we'll just give him a jelly shrum and a jelly 
melon. So, uh, I guess we can cut back to, uh, but first of all, we need a coconut. So, um, the coconut. So I'll see you guys back where, uh, Kenzie Koopa is. Not Kenzie Koopa, Koopa Koot. There we go. Here's some Chuck Quizmo. I failed at this in, one, in the last jump cut, but, um, let's see. What does he ask this time? Who am I? Chuck Wismo. I've made this clear like 40 friggin' times this playthrough. Now we have a, now we have less than 20 Chuck Wismo quizzes left, so uh, we'll just hunt through. Any ones we don't get in this part, we'll basically just hunt down before chapter 8, but um... But yeah, we're just gonna go to uh, we're just gonna go to Koopa Koot and give him a coconut. We got uh, a star card. This is the last Koopa Koo favor. We uh, yeah, give him um, red jars, bright red desert. And, um, according to popular opinion, you get one if you buy things in a certain order at the shopping cart outpost. First, you buy a dusty hammer, then you go ahead and get a dry pasta, then or you get another dusty hammer, then let me see. Hang on, I've forgotten the other thing. Ah, uh, you have to figure out the rest. But do, you, but do hurry, I really want this. I have a word. I guess I'm gonna. Tackle those tasty recipes just to clear inventory space. Also, um, I just have to, um, I don't remember, however, if the melon is, uh, if it's the melon and the strange leaf or it's the melon and the stinky herb. I think it might be the melon and the stinky herb. We'll just try the melon and the strange leaf. Either way, we're going to get a recipe. Let's just give the strange leaf and the melon. If it doesn't work, I'll have to do everything off screen. I think it's strange leaf and melon, but um. It's the special shake, which heals 20 FP. So uh now I'm gonna go and get a cake mix off. Now I'm gonna go and get a cake mix. And uh This is actually the last recipe we need the cake mix for. So um yeah, so I, I got the right amount when I uh did the uh, cake mix in one of the other chapters. Uh, I had a, I had a coconut in the in, I, in the shop. I didn't even see that. I now we're just gonna do the uh, the melon and the cake mix. We get a Yoshi cookie, which heals 15 HP, 15 FP. So, um, yeah, so, um, I forget what the order was. It was Dusty Hammer, then Dried Pasta. I'm just gonna read the dialogue again, but, um, I think it was Dusty Hammer, then. Let me just read the dialogue again. Hey, Chuck Wismo! Good thing I forgot. The good thing I forgot, because we would have gotten good old Chuck Wismo. We used to show up in towns and villages. In the jail. I like how that's one of the options. We have 18 more Chuck Wismo quizzes. So, uh, yeah, the less we can do before chapter 8, the better. So, the, it's, um... Dusty Hammer, then Dried Pasta, then another Dusty Hammer, and uh, I know what the rest is. Dusty Hammer, then Dried Pasta, then Dusty Hammer, then uh, it's actually Dried Trim that's the fourth. I'm gonna sell those taste here so I can get my A so I can get coins, and B so I can, um, so I can have inventory space. We're gonna sell the Yoshi cookie. Sell the uh, special shit. I think I'm gonna sell the jelly pop, but we don't need a honey syrup. We don't need a sleepy sheep. I don't think we need the thunder rage either, so we'll just keep it that. Like Cooper Good said, it's essentially a dusty hammer, dried, dried pasta, dusty hammer. Both of ones actually a dried shrimp. What ho? Buying goods in that order is a secret sign. It was written in ancient will. I see. I'm in keeping with the will. I'm proud to give you this. Please take it. We get the red jar. So um, now I just sell those items. 
They never tell you what the fourth one is, but uh, it's dried shrimp. We're just gonna sell those items and uh, I don't know why I did not mean to. Let's sell the dusty hammer and uh, yeah, we should be good. So uh, now we're just gonna go back to Koopa Koo and that's actually the last time, I think this is the last time we'll ever be in Tri Dry Outpost. So what a good send off. Dry Dry Outpost. I like that area actually, but um, now I'm just gonna, oh my God, yes. What's the name that plays in, I was in Jane Jones, plays about stars, that would be, I think it's Trumpet Plant. Yeah, it is Trumpet Plant. I'm also gonna say Bell Bell Plant, but that would've been wrong. We have 17 more Chuck Wismo quizzes left. We're actually approaching the end of the game, so um, we're gonna give him the red jar. Spooking shot, swooping shires, or treasure fire, anyway, so he's gonna give us um, three star pieces. So if she's um, oh, that's what is that? I can't think of any more, is it? And later. He's gonna have a different dialogue for chapter eight. I'll make sure to show it, but um, but um, one last Chuck Quizmo quiz. We'll end it off like this. One last Chuck Quizmo quiz. There we go. And the rest will just hunt before chapter eight. Tells the Uriosi village green. So yeah, we have 15, we have essentially uh, 16 more Chuck Wismo quizzes left to tackle. So um, I think I'm gonna cut off to this part of Paper Mario. So next time Paper Mario, we're gonna go towards Shiver City. See you guys then.